Hi guys! Today I'm finally sharing some of my tips and tricks for hollowing out live wood. Um, it's different than milled wood and can be pretty tricky. So people ask me a lot how I do it, what kind of tools that I use. So today I'm going to share it with you. My first tree stump was hollowed out actually by hand using a mallet and some chisels. And I was able to do that because when I found this tree stump, it was actually rotted out in the center. So it was really just a matter of removing the rotted material. But as I started to use other trees that weren't rotted, it became very clear that I was not going to be able to do it by hand. And so I had to graduate to a power tool, something with enough power to get the job done. This is when my chainsaw became my new best friend. Now, when I moved to a bigger tree, like the one I found in Salt Lake City, I had to really, really stretch the way I was approaching the problem. So I did some research and found that the Indians used to do dugout canoes by burning the center out of them. But frankly, this is the outcome that I saw as very likely. So I started to experiment with other tools. The hammer drill with a sharpened shovel bit ended up being really, really helpful for me, um, particularly on the part of the tree that was rotten. Um, they don't normally come super sharp, so I just sharpened mine and, and it worked like a huge chisel. I thought that was great. One of the most helpful tools for me was my four and a half inch grinder with a Lancelot bit. So if you look really closely at the bit, you can see it's really just a circular chainsaw, which is, well, it's kind of gnarly and super, super dangerous. So the thing with this is you really, really have to have the muscle strength in order to handle it because it definitely can get pretty wild. On a kinder, more gentler note, this is a Dremel Multimax. So it's a vibrating or oscillating saw. I didn't discover this until I was, you know, really well into the process of doing this. This is awesome. It's, you can do all these plunge cuts, so it's perfect for cutting stairs. Like, nice and even, super easy. I wish I had had this a lot earlier. It would have been one of my favorite tools just around the house. So there you have it. That's how I do it. Um, remember, this is not an activity for the beginner or even the novice. Please make sure that if you're going to attempt this, that you're doing it safely, that you have the experience and expertise with, with all of these tools in order to use them safely, and you also have the power in order to handle them safely. Um, because they are, well, when they bite, they tend to take off fingers, and so you want all your fingers when the day is over. Um, also, for, for those of you who have shared my GoFundMe campaign, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help and support. Um, please continue to share it if you don't mind um, and encourage the people you're sharing it with to share it as well. Um, shares are just as valuable as donations. And so if you don't mind, I would really appreciate your continued support. And um, I hope everyone's doing well and have a great day.